In his youth, Wu Chen bore witness to the secrets of the heralds along with the heretic death of his mother. It was this that left him exiled, utterly alone. Upon the Isle of Karma, life was harsh, a daily trial for a half-herald, half-human child, as he had were the teachings of his late mother. Follow Wu Chen's story in an official comic. Time for Mizu to freak out. Oh, man. Oh. I already feel like it's so pretty. It's a whole chapter. Where can I buy this? Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Is that his mom? My apologies, Han Yue. Please come back to Morris Isle with me. Ah! You actually defeated the Herald's Envoy from 300 years ago. Aren't you something, Wu Chen? Uh, that was mere luck. Humor me. Wait, the bird is the one talk. Oh, shoot. Wait, the bird's the one talking. Bro, I didn't even realize. Uh, the Lord Omnis sent me here to observe you. I've been curious how a Herald's human, a hybrid from Kama, ended up a Herald's envoy. Uh, it's a long story. Prologue the way of contraries. What? Uh, filthy half breed. Keep your nose out of us Harold's business, Wu Chen. Oh, let's go. <laughs> uh, mother? The Morris Isle, on top of hurling abuse at me, they disrespected you, Mother. Hold still, just one more bandage. They called humans selfish cowards, but humans aren't that bad, are they? Uh, Wu Chen, let me tell you a story about us humans and the Harold's. Okay. Moonbane, the god of Yin, Sunwing, the god of Yang. In days of old, long before Morris Isle was inhabited by the heralds, two ancient deities, Sunwing and Moonbane, fought at endless battle here. As the deities clashed, the world was reduced to ashes. Each time the world rose anew, the fighting assumed the cycle of Naraka. Protected by Agus, the divine tree, the heralds of Morris Isle survived, but carried the pain of watching their kin perish and the world die. From then on, the near-immortal heralds lived for, for one thing, breaking the cycle of Naraka. Till the first humans appeared, little did the heralds know the seemingly weak race who built their civilization under the long-lived herald's guide would play a pivotal role in the battle between the gods. This time, Sunwing defeated Moonbane, and its overwhelming yang energy threatened to destroy the world. The dying Moonbane bestowed an inverted scale on a human hero, Yi. The scale transformed into the Mask of Immortality, granting Yi immense yin energy. Under the protection of the Herald, Yi confronted Sunwing, shot the suns, and slayed the god. Though the god's divine spirit remained and the cycle of non Naraka unbroken, for the first time since the world began, Armageddon was averted. Uh, so humans save the world? Yes, the heralds scorn humans as flawed beings, but the truth is, our flaws are our own greatest strength. Humans and heralds are complementary. Together we can break Naraka, and you with both human and herald blood. You may be the key to breaking Naraka once and for all. I get it now. You're saying I'm the most powerful being? <laughs> uh, Wu Chen. Uh, Wu, you're needed at the Elder Council meeting. Now? Wu Chen, go to sleep. I'll be back. I can save the world. We'll see if the Heralds still want to push us around then. If the Herald Elders want to talk to Mother, I should go listen too. After all, I am a powerful half-blood. You, you don't really think all humans are greedy fools, do you? That's a closely guarded secret. How did you hear of it? After all, the mask was why I came here all of those years ago. Even since ye defeated Sunwing, the mask has been in the Herald's possession. Instead of using it to save the world, you tempt humans. T to Morris Isle may the chosen humans come and claim the mask when victory is won. Many crossed the sea for it, killed each other for it. Though I lost the battle and was trapped here, I was blessed with other boons. With the mask, the victor conquered far and wide, ununifying the plains and Grey Wolf King. But after conquering Holoroth, he died a mysterious death. That is why I am certain the mask is no blessing. You are right. 
Moonbane has used it to collect ye energy. If the energy within is not released, it will revive before Sunwing does, disturbing the balance of ye and Yang and bringing Armageddon. Our people try to release the Yi energy by wearing the mask, but a herald's yin yang essence is too pure, and the mask quickly drained them for their chi, killing them. Ah, so you have set your sights on humans whose chi is less pure. But even the mighty gray wolf king was killed by the mask. Yes, his ambition may have sapped the power of the mask, but it was not enough. This is why we want you to wear it, to keep the world safe. Until the next lot of power-hungry, ambitious humans get here. <laughs> What's so funny? I feel like such a fool. After all these years, I finally see that the heralds were this arrogant and ignorant. You pretend to be virtuous saviors and label humans as disciples and ungrateful, yet you ignore our role in the defeat of Sunwing, the breaking of Naraka, a lie to deceit humans into sacrificing themselves for you. Even those uh, lunatics on karma are better than you. Absurd! How dare you! Spare me your lectures. You called me here in the debt of night to wear the mask. Since there is no other option, my choice is clear. Hand it over. Forgive me, Wu Chen. No! Mother! Don't, don't listen to them. Wu, this goes without saying. Wu Chen, why are you here? For what he just heard, he must be sent to car er, Kama, comma, sorry, excuse me. But we are not heartless. We can choose not to save the world and go with him. You know what will happen to Half-Blood Child with no one to protect him. Mother, please, don't, don't, I don't want you to die, my child. It appears she won't wear it. There is no time, and she's the best fit. Then the world is doomed. Elders, I've made up my mind. Make sure he doesn't see this. Uh, as the Savior's command, Mother! Wu Chen, I may be mortal, but in the face of Armageddon, I will not back down. Three days later, on a ship bound for Kama. Once I'm gone, you'll be heading to Kama alone. I am so sorry, Wu Chen. How dare you hit me? I'll beat the hell out of you, you filthy! Sit back down! You don't want to give me trouble. Because of my obsession, you've been bullied for as long as you can remember. When you get to Kama... I can't believe I'm going to be stuck on Kama guarding these disgusting humans for the rest of my life. The human blood in your veins will make your life harder. And this filthy half-breed, he stinks. All right, zip it. And you half-blood brat, behave or you'll be sorry. Remember the heralds despise humans, but right now, humans have saved the world once again. Wu Chen, Naraka will continue, and the heralds will try to prevent the next Armageddon. But these false deities who pay for respite with human lives are no true saviors. Wu Chen, don't forget what you said. Listen, my name is Wu Chen. I have human and herald blood. I am the strongest half-blood. I shall make the world a better place. I shall make the world a better place. <laughs> so Wu Chen, promise me you'll survive. The end. Ah, it's good. Sorry my voice acting wasn't that great today. Dude, I hope they release an actual, like, comic and everything i would love to like to like actually read it all yo thanks for taking part in reading it yo i'm gonna have to go like download it all so they don't yeet it <laughs> oh my gosh like oh it's so good oh we get it all the lore we're getting all the things oh, i'm so excited ah, it's so good